this advocacy day is so important for, for Lebanon, my country. As we know, we are in defense of Christian, but uh, for us, defending Lebanon is defending the Christianity in the Middle East and what's left in it, of it. Um, I would like to start by saying that I would like you to imagine in the U.S. here, in a span of five years, if we added 85 million people to the cities and towns across every state, and this is officially 85 million, more like, in truth, it's more like 160 million, all using the same resources you have now, the same infrastructure we have now. And if these people, with heartbreaking situations, brought with them a host of political, religious, and social conflict, high unemployment and high, high poverty, and nowhere to go. So now imagine Lebanon. This is exactly how it looks now. The crisis, the Syrian displaced into Lebanon is unprecedented in human history. As a Lebanese living in Lebanon, I can tell you that every single aspect of our lives has been touched. While we are doing the very best we can, and while we'll deeply emphasize and empathize with the displaced, we have a dire message for the US Congress. Three points. First, the unprecedented proportion of Syrian displaced in Lebanon is endangering our fragile equilibrium. We had our brutal 16 years of civil war between 75 and 91. And we have spent the last 25 years rebuilding both our physical and civic societies. Today, my country, the size of the state of Connecticut, is hosting nearly 350 Syrians for every square mile. Our national harmony, our national harmony is in danger. We are afraid that this disequilibrium will one day take us back to the dark days of the civil war. This is exactly what happened with the Palestinians displaced in Lebanon 40 years ago. Second, the presence of Syrian displaced is putting unbearable pressure on our infrastructure and economy. Today, today Lebanon is overburdened with the weight of $75 billion in public debt with a ratio of 150% of our GDP. It has cost the Lebanese state more than $4.5 billion every year in annual interest to, ser to service that debt. The World Bank published a report that reveals the effect of the displaced on Lebanese and their access to service and infrastructure. And from that report, we estimate that an increase in public expenditure of $2.8 billion due to the sudden rise in demand for public services. I ask you to conjure in your mind images of the daily impact on infrastructure of 2 million displaced on a country of 4 million citizens. From an employment perspective, Syrian displaced have created intense competition for jobs. The informal economy has burgeoned. Our unemployment rate has doubled to over 25%. Now third and last, one, one of the most dangerous implication of the Syrian displaced is terrorism, for which Lebanon has paid a high price to quell. Now thanks to the international assistance and mainly from the US administration, to the Lebanese army, we have been able to manage the threat of terrorism from the Syrian border inward. However, given the enormous number of Syrian displaced scattered across Lebanon, this threat of terrorism due to extremists among them can become systemic across Lebanon. And this sort of terrorism will be extremely difficult to contain, as you all know all around the world. Therefore, we have two dire requests from the US for the US Congress.
First, we urge you to help us create some sort of fund for infrastructure development, where international institutions, along with national and regional ones, will contribute to improve our devastated and overwhelmed infrastructure. Second, while we thank you dearly for your unequivocal assistance to the Lebanese armed forces for our border control, we urge you to fully pressure for the repatriation of Syrian displaced to safe areas inside their country, in line with our Lebanese constitution and the right to pro prohibit naturalization of Syrian displaced into Lebanon. In closing, the activism of the IDC today in supporting Lebanon's humanitarian efforts and the return of Syrian displaced to their country will prevent instability reaching Lebanon and through the, and through the Eastern Mediterranean, the rest of the world. So I thank you for your generous time. Thank you.